car. Wait, go. <laughs> ah! <the> car break! <laughs> what the fuck? Power wheels that you control with your voice. The idea is as stupid as it sounds and surprisingly easy to do, providing the fact that you don't care about the condition of your house and that you also show equal negligence towards the condition of your motor vehicles. And of course, you do have to find someone who is just as complicit in their total disregard towards human safety as you are, like Lewis Weiss. Lewis and I have actually been talking for a while now, and he had mentioned to me at one point how he wanted to make a voice control car, and I said, why not voice control power wheels? And he said, that's stupid. And, um, well, it is. Okay, so how do you convert a normal power wheels into one that's controlled by your voice? Well, the smartest thing to do would probably be to get an Arduino and then do a whole bunch of programming and put something together that's really well thought out and takes input commands and... <sighs> you could also just buy a toy that already kind of does that. I found these cheap toy cars on Amazon. They are already voice controlled and tons of fun. I mean, look, look at this kid. Fun. Here's how this can work. Inside the car is very simple. A control circuit receives signals from the voice recognizing remote control. Here you can see that the drive motor wires send electricity when forward or backward is activated on the controller. This electricity can be used to activate relays, which are switches that get turned on by electricity. By connecting these wires to relays, we can now turn the switches on using voice commands. Turn left. Turn right. Car break. These switches can later be used to send large amounts of electricity to the bigger motors inside the power wheels. Now when Lewis showed up at my house to work on this project, we decided to test out just how well that these cars actually respond to voice commands. Forward. Stop. Car break. Why do you have to say car break? Car reverse. No, it like goes a little bit backwards. <laughs> Go forward. Turn left. Turn right. Oh, uh, what? No! What? Wait, turn right. Car reverse. So Car go, reverse? Go back. Go back. Stop. Car stop. Car <laughs> brake. Car brake. Car forward. Stop! Stop the car! So we already knew how to do forward and reverse by connecting the relays to the power wheel motors. But since power wheels are normally turned by hand, we had to figure out a way to control them electronically. I had messed around with some 12 volt car lock actuators. They are actually really cheap, but not super strong. So I decided to put eight of them together to power the steering. Turn right. Whoa, holy crap. Turn left, turn right. That is aggressive. Turn left. Turn left. Turn the rest. <laughs> Car break. Oh man, what? The lock actuators would either push or pull the steering left and right. A large spring would then return the steering to the middle when the actuators were not receiving power. Lewis and I then figured out a way to mount them to the cars, and I ended up designing some brackets to cut on my CNC machine. Oh, I'm also seeing though that there's some travel in this direction. Yeah, a little bit. It's, it shouldn't be a big deal. These things are flexible, which is nice. Yeah. Everything is gonna be a little flexible. I mean, this whole thing is made of plastic and very flexible. It's, it's a flexible just, situation. It's a flexible situation. Turn left. Now there was truly no need for steering wheels or gas pedals, so we ripped them out. Do you think he's gonna be able to fit in it? Ooh, me? Yeah. It'll fit. It's tight. I want to fold right this one. Oh yeah. Oh, this is this is comfy basically. And we're chilling. The control circuits, small relays, and batteries were placed inside some Tupperware, and then the small relays were connected to a bunch of bigger relays that could handle the large amounts of current going to the power wheels. Go forward. Stop. Car brake. <laughs> Nice! Ah! It thinks everything means go forward. I've got an idea. All right. Chocolate pudding. Cheese doodles. <laughs> it just turbo. Crisp bread. Ah! 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 
A few finishing touches and some excessive male bonding later, and it was finally time to take the cars out and test them. Hey there, welcome to Joel Creates and Lewis Weiss. Hey! We built some uh, voice controlled power wheels that are basically one of a kind, totally unique, and super fabulous in color. Lewis brought his girlfriend and I brought my wife. We wanted them to control the cars while we sat in them. So, neither of them have had basically any experience driving these cars at all, and now they have to do it with completely voice control. They also don't know how it works, so we have to explain all of that. Two hours later. Car brake. Yeah. It's okay. not stop, even though that would make it's perfect sense. It's not stop, sense. it's car brake. We set up a simple circular race around some cones and a fire hydrant. Let's not kill my boyfriend today. across the finish line, we did a bunch more tests using the Corvette. Lewis was actually really good at voice control. Mostly. Go forward. Go forward. Now, if you want to see those races, you have to head over to Lewis's channel and watch his video. Now, I'm going to show you my favorite test, the ultimate test of my marriage, with Kirsten in the car and me trying desperately to maintain control. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Alright, we 
You ready for this? Yes. Go forward. Turn right. Turn right. Go forward. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. This has the turning right. radius of a tank. Actually, no tanks have good turning radius. Is that what we're Turn left! Turn left! Turn left! Turn right! Turn right! Car brake! Now at this point the cars were basically toast, but in all of our time spent together we had discovered something far more valuable than any project. We had discovered this song. Well, at least you got some sweet beats. Look at that, that's a lot of damage. Look at that. is a 2020 voice-controlled pink Power Wheels Barbie Jeep. And it's one of only two pink Barbie Power Wheels that are in existence today. And today we're gonna to be looking at some of the interesting quirks and features of the pink Barbie Wheels Jeep. Then we're gonna take it out on the road, and then we're gonna give it a Joel score. And Joel, for more information- Joel, what the heck are you doing? What, what the heck is just, Joel score? Just give me a, we'll do the thing in a minute. Just hold on, all right? What thing? 